I suppose in the next Blake Backlash book, good old Fujitsu will be replaced by Hildegard. We we do want to read the letter we found in the book. Right. Fourth of March, eighteen sixty four. To King Ludwig the Second, most gracious ruler of all Bavaria. Last I beg your forgiveness for my forthrightness in this letter, but I fear terribly for your majesty's safety, and thus have no time for subtlety. I have heard that the one they call the Black Wolf is close to your highness. I have been investigating this man for reasons I cannot name at present, and I have learned that he is extremely dangerous and can only have the most dire of motives at heart in anything he pursues. I beg your highness only this. Please do not see this man alone, nor even with your servants, only to guard you. I promise you, all will be made clear very shortly when my investigation is complete. For now, only keep yourself safe. Your most grateful servant, Christian von Ritter, Schloss Ritter, Rittersburg, Bavaria. Uh-huh. Yeah, Ludwig, we're going to be learning a lot about Ludwig II in this game. Um, he was the last king of Bavaria. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll just call shenanigans. That is clearly not from a typewriter. I'm not quite ready to write the big hero yet. I'm not quite... Who should I call? We don't even have anyone to call, I don't think. Okay, I... Well, we have... This guy, maybe. Let, let's let's use his foe. Let's call him real quick. <coughs> oh, we're waking the poor man up. Hello, Professor Barkley. This is Grace Nakamura. I'm calling from Germany. Germany? I thought you were in New Orleans. I was, but. Anyway, it's rather important or I wouldn't have bothered you. Do you know anything about King Ludwig II of Bavaria? <laughs> well, that's a hell of a thing to ask a man in the middle of the night. Uh, late 1800s, right? Yes. Uh, this isn't really my field, uh, but I, I think he was crazy or something. Something like that. Do you know anyone who specializes in German history? Yeah, I, I have a friend at the University of Berlin. Uh, I'll ring him. Uh, what's your number there? It's 4989-555-7878. Okay, I'll, I'll call you back if I remember this conversation in the morning anyway. Great. Sorry again. Thanks. Bye. Bye. God, I was having such a nice dream about llamas. Okay, there, there's another book on the shelf we want to read, too. My wallet. I converted some cash to marks at the airport. Because this is back when marks were a thing. Also again, saving. The Journal of Victor Ritter. Numerous deaths at the hands of a marauding wolf being recorded in a neighboring county, I set out to see if I could determine the cause. There had been rumors of a werewolf, and the dark signs did indeed seem to be present. The deaths had all occurred within a 40-kilometer range of woods, and at the heart was the village of Alfeng. My assistant and I set a trap a short distance from the village. Though the beast had shown a propensity for human flesh, livestock had also been taken. 
It was a newling lamb we loosed in the thicket as a lure. We awaited downwind. For two nights, the lamb bleated to no purpose, and once we had to fend off a hungry fox. But at last, fox. the beast himself fox. took the bait. Fox. I might have missed him. The night was so dark, and the wolf himself was black. But my assistant saw the light of his eyes, and I heard the lamb's cries turn fearful. He had the poor dumb lamb by the throat when we sprang. He was swift and might have escaped, but his fatal mistake was to attack rather than run. My dagger struck through his chest and into his right lung. As I had agreed, we bound the wolf and tied shut its jaws. We brought it home to Rittersburg, still breathing, and turned it over to the magistrate. I pray for the man's unfortunate soul. May the law be swift and merciful. God be praised for aiding his servant. From his hand came the strength and wisdom to end the killing. Victor Ritter, Schottenager, 20 April 1750. Huh. Chapter 3 Lycanthropy the Ways of the Wolf. Chapter 3 There are two categories of werewolf cases, false or lycanthropic disorder cases and genuine werewolf cases. <laughs> what of my dad's friend has worked with cases of lycanthropic disorder? A subject uh. called a lycanthrope believes that he or she is a werewolf. The subject does not actually change shape, but is nevertheless capable of being as dangerous as an actual werewolf. Most cases of supposed werewolfry are really the work of lycanthropic disorder victims. Man to beast. In real werewolves, a physical change to wolf form does occur. The change can be voluntary, at will, or can be forced by certain cycles of the moon and certain sounds, such as howling. <coughs> <laughs> I'm I'm laughing at something later. Werewolves okay. and immortality. <coughs> Werewolves are immune from aging and from most physical diseases due to the constant from regeneration aging, you of say? physical yeah. tissue. They can therefore be virtually immortal. However, they can be killed by any wound that destroys the heart or the brain, or any form of death that causes brain or heart damage, such as hanging or other oxygen deprivation methods. Mind of a werewolf. Though primarily a true wolf while in wolf form, there is some proof that the werewolf retains enough knowledge to assist his killing. Recognition of victims, evasion of traps, and human cunning have all been seen on werewolf cases. Becoming a werewolf. There are several ways to become a werewolf. They include being given the power of shape-shifting through sorcery, being cursed by someone whom you have wronged in some way, called the Lyconia Curse, being bitten by a werewolf, and being born to a werewolf. More interesting! Hmm. The blood of the subject becomes tainted or cursed. Damnation. A person who becomes a werewolf against his will, birth, curse or bite is not completely damned until he tastes of human blood once he does his soul is eternally damned and nothing may redeem him even without tasting of human blood however as long as the taint lays upon the immortal soul it cannot enter into heaven and will remain chained to the mortal plane upon death uh -huh. that's interesting so th so if you're a werewolf who does not eat human flesh your soul is just stuck on earth Fun. Werewolf packs. Like real wolves, werewolves can live alone for many years, yet the instinct for a pack often leads them away from their secretive lifestyles into revealing their nature to a priest or close associate or converting another to werewolfry for companionship. This is when the otherwise cagey werewolf opens himself to detection. Werewolf packs cause immense destruction. A pack consists of one werewolf who became a werewolf through sorcery, birth, or curse. In other words, his is the original tainted blood. This werewolf is called the Alpha Werewolf. The remaining werewolves in the pack are called Beta Werewolves because they became werewolves through the bite of the Alpha and carry the Alpha's tainted blood. Alpha and Beta Werewolves 
The relationship between alpha and beta werewolves is a complex one. Once a subject is bitten by a werewolf, his or her life and death are doomed to the werewolf curse. The victim does, however, have some hope. As long as they themselves do not taste of human blood, the curse is reversible. If the alpha werewolf is killed through some action of the beta, the beta's curse is broken. It is important to note that whether the beta werewolf was bitten by the alpha werewolf himself or by another beta, it is the alpha who must be destroyed, the source of the original tainted blood. It is also an interesting note that since betas and alphas share the same common blood, an alpha cannot physically harm a beta of his own bloodline by his own hand without inflicting the same injury upon himself. However, if a beta is harmed or killed by another, it does not affect the alpha. Mm -hmm. I bet absolutely none of this is going to come up. Uh -huh. Symptoms of werewolf free. When hunting for a werewolf, it is important to remember that your biggest clues will come through your suspect's personalities. Becoming a werewolf is not transparent, no matter how the victim tries to hide it. The tainted subhuman blood greatly alters the subject's own mind and personality, even physical appearance. Therefore, look for symptoms in your human suspects that include increasing violence, increasing aggression, unprovoked rages, insomnia, restlessness, and other bizarre behavior. By that logic, every teen over time, male should be symptoms a werewolf. can be brought under control. They are. do not rely upon them exclusively. <laughs> a good example of this comes from a case reported by the ancient priesthood society, Manos del Sol of Brazil. And so the a rash of werewolf killings there was tracked to well, a high ranking Manos, officer the hands of in the fate? army. The society became aware of the man mainly through rumors of his violent behavior and changed personality. The case was successfully resolved with a man's capture. Manos del Sol, men of the sun? I wonder if they're like Schattenjägers, only Brazilian. Uh. Save again, because we've got some progress done. There's nothing else on werewolves in the occult section. Biographies here. I wonder if there's anything on. Yes, Ludwig. Konig von Bayern. Konig Ludwig. Sein Leben und sein Sieht. Die letzten Tage des Konig Ludwig II. Hmm. German. That's not much help. Well, maybe you shouldn't have yelled at the girl who has the ability to speak German. I think there might be another journal on the right shelf, but I'm not positive. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's. No I wonder if Christian Ritter's journal is here. I'm pretty sure you're just using the same shot over and over again. We had to save money. We're paying these actors, Christian damn it. Born 10 January 1820. Ordained a Schottenjäger. Died 4 March 1864. The 4th of March. That's the date on the letter. Okay. So. Now that we have read things. Uh-huh. Uh. I think we should go back to Rittersburg. Something tells me she ain't gonna want to talk, so... Again, sheep dimension. Well, let's go talk to the mayor. Okay. Remember that werewolf trial I'd asked you about? I have a date now. April 1750. Excellent. Let me go look. I 
heard of this case when I was a boy. Uh, but I always thought it was just a scary tale. Uh, it, I never thought to look in the archives. <laughs> it was there, all right. Uh, what did you want to know? Why did they bring the wolf to Rittersburg? I know the Schottenjager lived here, but why didn't he just... Kill it where he found it? I don't know. Let's see. Take a look. Uh, it's in her book. Uh, they wanted to know what man it was, uh, who it was. They brought it here so it would change back? Yes, exactly. Uh, I love that the mayor has nothing better to do than to reach to tourists. I mean, clearly Gabriel just is running this place perfectly. Mm -hmm. He did introduce them to the religion of Lily Jr. after all. They, he did, did the yes. Werewolf. <coughs> he was interrogated for two days. He confessed his guilt. Uh, the trial took place on the third day, and he was uh, sentenced to death by watering and the stake. Uh, he was given a final meal. He asked to see a confessor, and this was granted. Uh, he died at dawn the following day. They pulled off his limbs and burned him? Uh, don't think harshly of us, miss. That was a long time ago. <laughs> You're like that person who goes to a Western film and complains that the women are serving the men. <laughs> Where was the werewolf kept while it was here? The dungeon. There's a dungeon in the Rat House basement. We don't use it anymore, of course. Haven't for many years. It's for storage now. <coughs> Did it change back? That's what it says. They put the wolf in a cell, and the next morning they found a man in there. A laborer from out of town uh, identified him as Baron von Ralek uh, from Alfing. How did they want to find out who the werewolf was? I would guess... Uh, yes. It says here that a group of villagers were sent to the werewolf's hometown once they learned its human identity. Why? <laughs> they thought there were more of them there? In those days, uh, the family of the identified werewolf would be in great danger. Many believed such curses were handed down through the bloodline. Uh -huh. Was there anything else? I suppose not. Unless, is there any way I could see the dungeon? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to show people my dungeon for years. <laughs> I polish the chains every morning. <laughs> but remember that opening cutscene we saw? Yeah. The, with the prologue where it's like, oh, they're burning this kid's house Everything's down. Everything's been kept mm -hmm. the way it was when the dungeon was in use. Yeah. We show it off to tourists sometimes. <laughs> Are you all right, miss? <laughs> it's just that this place is so claustrophobic. I tell you what, normally this place is locked to keep out the village children. I'll leave it open. You can come and go as you please. Would you? Thank you so much. You are most This place is giving me Goodbye. horrible visions, Goodbye. but I'm happy Bye. that I can come and go as I please.
So yeah, this this game starts a plot line, and I don't know if it, confessor. I don't know if it comes up in the third game, but Grace is low key supposed to be a little bit psychic. That's the church in the square. She's definitely psychotic at times. Mm-hmm. Especially when it comes to the fact that suddenly she's interested in Gabriel and is threatening anybody who's in close proximity to him. <coughs> I wonder if the mayor randomly sleeps down here. I live down here! Oh, it would probably save on rent. Von Rolick slept here. Also, those sheets should not be as nice as they are if they've been down there for hundreds of years. 